<clears throat> Lyrica. Lyrica, Lyrica, Lyrica. <clears throat> I don't know if you gave this a whole lot of thought, but you got yourself looking all kinds of crazy out in these streets. All kinds of crazy. And I'm like, come on through, cook. Yeah. I want to put my soap on. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, Season 5, Episode 5. And as I said, Little Lyrica, bitch, you got yourself looking cra <laughs> crazy out in these streets. Girl, you are doing the absolute most. Like, I don't know, girl, we don't know, I don't know who you are at this point. This you look crazy. Anyway, first things first. We see Lyrica at a photo shoot. They're doing a photo shoot on her. And baby, I was like, I, and I, I won't say that I don't like the photos that you took. I do like them. But what are they for, bitch? What are these for? Because if it's not, if you're not going up for a role as storm or something science fiction or just flat out trying out for uh, American Horror Story and uh, either like Coven or Freak Show, then I don't know. I know good and well these ain't nothing that have to do with no music you're doing. And if so, who the fuck you singing for, bitch? But dad, you looking like some kind of crazy ice princess. Pretty, it's pretty, but pretty in a very strange kind of way. <clears throat> I don't know. Pretty in a strange, yeah. Pretty in a strange, I'll blow up a building with my eyes type of way. Kind of crazy shit. Like you can move shit, you know, make a typhoon, shit like that. Any old way. But that's what I was getting from you. And then in your confessional, girl, you're sitting up to talking about A1 that got too big-headed. A1 has gotten big-headed. He has with his, his celebrity. But you got it worse. You are totally tripping. Totally tripping. And then you're disrespectful with the shit. That's all I'm going to say for right now. Let's, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about you some more. Bitch, you lost your mind. But whatever. Next thing we see, Nikki and Paris. They are really into this get Akbar, honey. They don't like Akbar. They don't like his ass. And they are determined to dig up some dirt on his ass. Paris have found out that this fool is supposedly married. Later on, they get together, honey, and they pull up this girl. And, um... They pull up this chick, and they're like, okay, we're satisfied. Her name is Sade, and yeah, I think he's married. They went to Tierra first and talked to Tierra. Tierra, you know, you know how Tierra is. Tierra, when Tierra gets her mind set on something, and especially when it comes to a man, she's a fool for a man, flat out. She's a damn fool for a man. Ain't nothing you can tell her. She gets digmatized, honey. When they stick that thing in her sideways, Tierra's all in. She's, oh, no, he's not married. Those are just rumors. None of that is true. And this, that. Bitch, you don't know what's true. Anyway, Nikki and Paris sat down with Miss Sade, honey, and lied about doing a collaboration because she has a, a line of clothes. They lied about it to get her to come, got her there, and runs it to her. And she's like, oh, yeah, Akbar is my husband. You know, this, that thing, and the other. And get to tell her about Tierra, and she's like, y'all know what y'all doing, and she would appreciate them bringing her there. She denied that he was even messing around, and this, that, and the other, and 
then her conversation kind of switched like she kind of may have known that he do be fucking around. It was just weird. It was crazy. I don't know if Akbar is actually married, but Akbar is definitely busy doing more fucking than just Tierra. This is for sure. So, I said, here we go, Tierra. Some more stupid shit with you. You know she's going to be mad and drunk. So, I said, oh, this is going to get interesting. Oh, this is going to be a mess. And the two of them was like, we ain't going to let it go, honey. We're going to find out. We're going to dig, and we're going to find out what the fuck's going on. Okay, so then we ended up seeing Apple Watts sitting down with A1. And they're working together, and he's really on to this whole thing about her stripping. He's, like, enamored with the fact that she's a stripper and she's a rapper, and he keeps calling her a strapper. I'm like, that is ridiculous. But whatever. Um, he has gotten her set up for a showcase with Donatella that she's going to be doing. And he's like, if we can get you a stripper pole in there, I'm like, what are you doing? But okay, whatever. And that's what she said. Well, I'm trying to get away from that whole image. But you know what? Whatever. If he feels like that's going to actually boost my career, then cool. I'm like, girl, I don't know where he's going. But okay, girl. But she ends up telling him about her meeting with Rockstar and all of that and told her, um, you know, my loyalty w is actually with you. And I walked out on him. You know, she he told her, you know, he's jealous of me and whatever and whatnot. So, like I said, we have to really watch. I need to keep a, a, a watchful eye on A1 and Apple Watts because I would love to see them create a, a nice male-female friendship, but I, it, it's teetering. It's teetering. It could be very easy for them two to really fall in with each other because she literally has his back. Like, she is really, like, falling in to being a friend to A1. And A1 is in a very vulnerable position at this point because Lyrica is showing her ass. She's really showing her ass. Um, thank God I think it's all really just for the show. But, um, yeah, we'll just, you know, for fuck's sake, we'll go ahead, Mona. We'll just roll with it. Um, yeah. Apple Watts. We got to watch Apple Watts today. One. Anyway. Whatever. But I like the friendship they got. But I hope they don't just fall into each other's arms and figure out polish and whatnot. I hope they don't start sharing earrings, honey. But anyway. Lyrica takes her hot ass down there. Did you see how she was dressed? You're going down to see Rockstar. Talk about y'all BFFs. But in his confessional, he talk about basically he been waiting to fuck you. He been holding and waiting and biding his time to want to fuck her. And he, he gives me little creepy weirdo from the neighborhood that like wanted to fuck everybody, but nobody paid him any attention until he got some money. And now he thinks that he can really buy his way into these places because he's really weird to me. Like, Little nimble fingers and hands and the fuck out of here. That's what he gives me. But anyway, that's what he's giving. And she's looking all trampy. And um leather boots and she looked cute. But it was like, girl, where are you going? Like who dresses like that at three o'clock in the afternoon? It was giving me total dominatrix tease. All she needed was a cat of nine tails. I was like, girl, okay, I guess. You're dressed like you coming to fuck, so the fact if he put his dick in your face, then that's just on you, bitch, because you asking for it. So I'm like, okay, but she looking crazy trampy in these streets. So they got that whole thing going on. Like I said, his confessional tells it all. His confessional, he's not a very likable person. He's very, very questionable, very, very shady, and he deserves watching. And I can't wait for A1 to lay hands on him, but anyway. So she got that going on. I'm going to come out here and work with you, this, that, and the other. You know what you're doing, Lyrica. You know that you're giving off all this hypersexuality. And it, it really ain't cute, bitch, because you want to play wife. You want to keep flip-flopping back and forth. You want to walk around here like a slut and a tramp. But then as soon as it looks like A1 may be getting some attention from a woman, bitch, then you jump back into the wife chair. You need to sit your motherfucking ass down because you look crazy. But anyway, Stasia and Brooke. Brooke then took and invited Stasia over her house. 
And when Starsha shows up, she she will say hello to Tasha. I said, <laughs> I said, bitch, Brooke, you are stupid. Brooke is stupid. Brooke is one of them bitches that play with people. Girl, I would rearrange your whole motherfucking face playing with me. I really would. Hello, Natasha. She said, my name is Saucy. She said, whatever, honey. And went on and invited her in. Next thing you know, here come Marcus. He was invited to it. I said, oh. So, she says, yeah. Um, well, did he tell you that I was pregnant and this, that, and the other? And they get to going back and forth. And I find, so, well, this is going to shake Brooke, right? Brooke was like, oh, well, that's okay, girl. We're going to be calling you for the doctor's appointment, girl. We can all go, honey. Bye, girl. See you. And Marcus is trying to walk her out. And Saucy is like, you know what? What the hell? And she's like, I said, this is so mad disrespectful. Marcus ends up walking her out, sending her on her way. He comes back in, and he's all turned on by the shit. I said, oh, Marcus, you are a hot mess. You're a hot mess. You and Brooke both, the two of y'all are toxic. And that shit y'all are doing, y'all ain't never going to be happy. You know why? Because it's fucked up. It's fucked up. You are play You got somebody hanging on playing with their feelings. She plays with your feelings. And y'all got a whole lot of mess going on. But then that's fine for you two. But where y'all are dragging other people in, that's where the problem comes in. That shit's going to blow up in y'all. Y'all ain't never going to be happy because y'all are, are fuck boy and fuck girl. Y'all ain't never going to be happy. That's a mess. And he was all with it. He thought it was so cute. So cute. Later on, he goes down to the appointment with her. And um, it's Saucy and Marcus. And finds out she's not actually pregnant. As they come out of the doctor's office, Brooke's down there. Brooke shows up. And here they go again. And now she's saying, okay, well, she's like, hey, baby girl, what's going on? She got, you know, she's doing that. And she's all like, yeah, um, I'm not pregnant. You know, and she will say, oh, well, good, girl. Go on and break up with him so, before he breaks up with you. Because you're done, girl. It's, you're finished. I said, girl, somebody's going to rearrange your face, honey. Keep it up. And he, again, because this time, Stassi was like, what is up with her? I'm sick of this bitch keep showing up and showing out. She was wanting to get at Brooke, honey. And Brooke was like, oh, because Brooke told her, we're here. And use these threw, um, condoms and shit at her. I said, go out and uppercut the shit out of Brooke. Brooke was trying it. So they kept him apart. Again, he dismisses Stassi and went off. Gets over there. And now she over there. Yeah, baby. And she kissing him and carrying So like, yeah, I got something for you. She over there playing with his bird and carrying on. He goes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A mess. A whole mess. Them two. Mess. Anyway, A1 does this show. And he actually has La Brittany dancing on, she's dancing on stage. I didn't understand that. Like, you're an artist and you're trying to get his attention. So you decide to go up and twerk like some background dancer for him. I, I didn't get it. It, it, it. That's like crazy to me. Like, I don't, that free labor, I ain't into it. Now, I mean, the whole thing of like when you approach somebody and they ask you to spit some bars and stuff to see if y'all want to work together or if you're a singer and they ask you to sing a little something, I understand that. But no, I'm not getting ready to get up on stage with you and do a whole performance and ain't getting paid. Baby dancers get paid. You're up there twerking you all over the floor for no reason. All you got was them telling you, yeah, girl, that's cute. And Lucci was there and Marcus was there. And it just, it didn't make any sense. It, it made absolutely no sense to me. None, none. Um, Lloyd actually showed up, which is A1's brother, and he brought his wife with him. He made an apology to um, Floyd, which is, a1 so they done made up and there was a whole little situation there where la britney knew that lyrica actually was on her snapchat watching her she saw the whole dance because she used her phone they were recording and she saw that lyrica 
was actually watching that Snapchat or whatever. She's trolling her. And she thought that whole thing was cute. So I'm like, LaBrittany, we got to watch you because you are a problem. You're a problem. You like to play little games. And you're playing little games with married people. Somebody will be to rearrange your goddamn face. So you got to, we got to watch her. I said, yeah, she, she, she need a little checking. Yep, because you're doing things for the wrong reasons. You thought it was cute to get his wife upset. Not cute. Later on, we actually end up seeing um, Tierra. This is actually before, before Paris and um, Nikki sat down with Sade. We saw Tierra talk to Akbar about the whole rumor and everything of about the wife, and and he was like. So, you know, we're not married. That's she, we're exes. This, that, thing, and the other. It's not true. And that bastard sat there and told Tierra. That's why I said, you still a fool. Still a damn fool. Told her, if y'all met, y'all would actually get along. Baby, I said, girl, you better than me. Because I'd have punched that far right one of his eyes, honey. That was a mess. Whole mess. Anyway. So we got Lyrica goes and sees Rockstar again. And um, goes to see him. He's the one that's dropped all the tea, basically. He dropped all the tea with his hate and ass and basically really put Lyrica onto the fact of the LaBrittany and A1 thing. He's the one who dropped all the tea. He is an issue. So I said, all right, he, he's doing everything he can to get into Lyrica's pants. But the way Lyrica's throwing pussy around, I mean, what's the big deal? Ain't not, you know, ain't, you have to go through all that. Really didn't. Um, then we meet at, with this new character. Jay Will. Him and LaBrittany are actually sitting around talking. And I don't understand. Like, they bring him in, and I'm like, well, where'd he come from? And then he starts saying, oh, I'm a, I'm a bisexual rapper. Okay. So I just didn't understand it. I didn't understand what the point of saying I'm a bisexual rapper. There was no point in him even saying that he was bisexual, period, as far as I was concerned, because... There was no need to indulge that. We, we're not into anything sexual. You're sitting there talking to LaBrittany. You're not trying to date her. So I didn't understand where the whole I'm a bisexual rapper came from. If you're not a gay rapper, see, I understand if you're coming into the show, you say, I'm a gay rapper. Because then your lyrics are going to be a little questionable. You know, you when you jump up and we start hearing you spitting and you start talking about you going to jump on a dick, I mean, then we will say, okay, but as far as you being a bisexual rapper, you wouldn't even venture down that road. For the most part, you wouldn't fuck up your money. You go ahead on and rap about girls because you like them too. Because why would you fuck up your money? Like, what is the point? So we found out later on, I said, okay, we found out later and I'm going to talk about it. But um, Jay Will and LaBrittany get to talking, and he basically was telling her, what is this whole thing about you? Like, tell him about how he's, she's like taunting, how she's been taunting Lyrica. And he said, why are you doing that? And you know she's going to be at the showcase that we're doing for Donatella. So why are you taunting her and playing games with her? Or, Girl, you better have your wig secure. I said, mm -mm. that's why I said we gotta watch LaBrittany because she thinks this shit is cute that she's doing. Like I think you, you're like making a play for for a one, and she is. She's she's wanting to be that girl, you know what I mean? And I'm like, all right, whatever. So anyway, we go over to Donatella's little showcase, baby, and everything's going on. Then it all made sense with Jay Will because then he busts out and he. And he's talking again about being this bisexual rapper, and he's putting on some makeup, and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, well, you just, you know, just to see this, you know, pretty, he's making sure he, he got his little makeup on for the lights. And I'm looking at him, and I'm saying, okay. And then, bitch, he come on, he starts talking about candy. They said, yeah, he's coming out, 
as Candy. And baby, they got the pan and the camera up from the... Look at this. First of all, where the fuck is you going with them crusty ankles and them fucking shoes? And they paying that penny. And I said, oh, hey, Miss Candy. <laughs> Miss Candy. He all the way full drag. I said, oh, okay. All right. And I was like, interesting. And that's why I was like, they didn't lead on that he was a, a drag, a, a rapper in drag. He's a, a female person. I said, okay, cool. Because he really wasn't putting on that much makeup. So I, I didn't see, I didn't see drag. Well, shit, I didn't see drag when he was all the way done. But I was like, okay. But, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. So he comes out and I'm like, okay. So this whole thing, and it's like skag drag. And, um, yeah, I guess. It was giving that whole blaming on Quay thing is what he's, he gives. That's his aesthetic. And I said, okay, all right, so now it makes sense that you were set, putting out there that you were bisexual and all of this. And I still don't understand. You're just a drag queen that raps, basically. The fact that you like girls and boys, I, I'm not getting it. And maybe it's going to come later on in the storyline. Whatever, Mona, I don't know. But again, here we go, clowning, clowning again when it comes to the LGBTQIA community. We clowning. Here we go with, another, with some bullshit again. I said, okay. So he's up there and he's saying how he has this very large following and, and he definitely can rap and all of that. He could definitely rap. Um, what they showed on the show, that drag is questionable. That drag is questionable. But I saw some other pictures of Candy that aren't like that. So why you're allowing them to clown you on the show, I don't know. I don't know. And you're coming across like you're selling out. Because, bitch, he has pretty features. As a boy, he got pretty skin, real pretty skin and real keen features. He could be a beautiful girl. If you're going to be a drag queen, bitch, you should be like, flawless go be that bitch and be flawless go on and do the rupaul thing bitch why are you doing the blaming on quay quay's look is what quay's look is because it ain't gonna be nothing else quay is a decent looking boy quay's a fucked up looking girl that candy don't gotta be a fucked up looking girl but on this episode miss candy was fucked up but anyway whatever i don't know what mona's paying you for obviously the clown so that's it. So anyway, we met Miss Candy. <laughs> okay. And I was like, all right, cool. So Apple Watts did her thing and they called her a strapper. It was ridiculous. Lyrica and LaBrittany ends up getting into it. Lyrica goes over because LaBrittany's over there up underneath A1. They immediately get into it. LaBrittany immediately is raw on the raw raw like yeah bitch this that thing and the other and, oh, this is how she's talking to lyrica like you ain't wrong like girl are you serious now yes lyrica's wrong because bitch you run around sucking safari's dick and running up on a1 and he ain't did nothing yet so that's you're out of order but that has to do with lyrica and a1 la britney bitch you're out of order that's his wife and like he took her to the side and told her Girl, you got to, like, you calling my wife a bitch and shit right in my presence. Like, you can't do that. That's my wife. I'm like, uh, you need to check her. Get your hose and check. She out of order. She she need her face broken. Then Rockstar, he's instigating the whole thing. Instigating, instigating, and then he's picking and poking at A1. I said, A1, take and beat his motherfucking ass. I want A1 to whoop his ass so bad. Oh, my God. I want, I just wanted to be in the midst of the crowd because they had this couch between them i wish i could have just been in the crowd so i could have went behind him and pushed him over the couch so that a1 could actually get to him before the security could get to a1 and just get him and hold him and just beat the fucking shit out of him he is doing the most i am so over that little boy i want his ass whipped and i want it whipped immediately i've had it with him he's ridiculous and i think at that point 
with the shit he was saying. And then he got all smart with Lyrica because Lyrica was like, whoa, because he like went over there kind of like swinging at A1 and B, all that bullshit. Lyrica felt stupid at that point when she figured out that he was playing her. He had been playing her to get at A1. I said, mm, you feel stupid, don't you? You better go try to fix things with your motherfucking husband, bitch. A mess. A mess. And then they break them all apart, and then he's going out the door, and he's talking about, you know, you know, A1, A1 told him the same thing he told Safari. Oh, it's going to go down. I'm going to get you. Trust me, I am, and I can't wait. I can't, I got 20 on it when you get him, boo. But this clown is going out the door. He trip going on out the door. Let's look at him. He's just a fucking clown. Tripping and ugh, cute jacket though. He had this cute leather jacket, leather and fur jacket. Dumb bitch. But anyway, that was it. It was interesting. Your Hollywood is always, they've got it going on, honey, because they are messy. But Lyrica, you need to pull yourself together, Ice Princess, because you, he had you looking stupid, but I think you got it. So maybe she won't have a change of heart and get herself together because she's looking real stupid in the streets. Real stupid. And having a man making an ass out of you trying to get your pussy. Anyway, all right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all.